Wait, stop tapping and listen to this and you not regret it. After the launch of Northcoin, their whole telegram airdrop they merged, for example, Avacoin, Onchain, Pixfi, and so on, and there are thousands of it that they are still pending. And as airdrop farmer, all you are doing is tap, tap, tap. You don't even know the one that is legit or the one that is fake. So in today's content, I'm actually going to be giving you some secrets in which you'll be able to recognize whether an airdrop is legit so that at the rest of the day, you not waste your time or you not be giving little token for your hard work. So all I want you to do is to watch this video to the end, subscribe, share it to your friends and family, and let's get started. Before starting any project, go to Twitter, search the name of the project using Rose as a case study. And as you can see, Pixabars actually partner with them. And the second aspect is that they have a golden verification, which is quite amazing. And they actually participated in Tone Connect. And if you scroll down, you can see that Biget, they reposted what Biget said. Before playing the game, check their community. Their community is very, very important, especially when they release a comment section. And as you can see, I currently have 458 comment section. Just scroll through their comment section and know what is going on in their community. It's very, very important. And I think NFT has been distributed. And the NFT is amazing. So let me just throw up. Let me throw up. And as you can see, some people have been playing this game for four months. So this is quite interesting. There are some accounts that they are making a ban on. Maybe probably for the fact that they are cheating and stuff like that. Then let me throw up. And as you can see, this is a, an important information. Say, 1000 gem qualify you for our airdrop. So if you know that playing the game will not make you get 1000 gem, do not even bother yourself because you never even be qualified for the airdrop. So this actually started in October last year. So this is quite interesting. So getting enough information before actually starting any airdrop is really important. So imagine me starting this and what they've been doing for roughly like how many months since last year, October. So if I actually want to do this airdrop, I have to be serious with it. I have to be very, very serious unless I will not get anything. So this is the best thing to actually do. Make your research about any airdrop before doing that. Then this is the home page. And as you can see, this is the aspect of quest. This is the aspect of staking. This is the aspect of gain. And this is actually how their game looks like. You can just start and check the game and see. You know, everybody has 24 hours. And it's not possible for you to do all tap, tap, tap. Then these there are tiers. If there's any aspect of ranking, make sure you know your ranking. And make sure that your ranking is topping. It's very, very important. So as airdrop farmer, it's very important. You research the airdrop before actually going to the airdrop. Know the time that the airdrop starts. Know those who partner with them. It's very, very important. Then check their community. Did they restrict the comment section? Or are people able to communicate freely and stuff like that? Did they have golden verification? Did they partner with any wallets and stuff like that? Any exchange? So it's really important instead of wasting your time and just tapping your screen. And just like even the one that launched, they just give you $2 and stuff like that. So it's important you make your research. So if this content helps you, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment. And thank you so much for watching this video to the end. See you in the next one. Peace out.